Well, come back again. You don't know anything, set Dr. Cookie, real chatterbox, bringing you the news and reviews from across the world. You see me, I say. Right now, the next one in Jamaica, now, you know. Since in you know, December, they have nine people dead going up to New Year's, you know. Nine people dead in a car crash. You know, so the man say, but me think the big problem is, is Jamaica now get the best type of car them for the people in Jamaica. You understand? They buy them little lightweight car them from China. You understand? They may come from and I sell it to the people. They are cheap, cheap things they are taking out the country. They now look over the people in life, looking at other country. You understand me? Crash a guan, but so much people now are dead. You understand? They may deal because the car them have structure. You get me, I said, I'm going to pass strict regulation before them get into the country. With Jamaica, can I look upon things like that? You see me, I say, any little idiot name can come out, they just want them. All these are this, the all them body are idiotness there. Them not take it for quality. Them take it for looks. You know, I said, I say, and China give them the rubbish. Tin can, them are driving a sardine tin. Them are driving around in Jamaica. You know, I said, I come from. So the Jamaica president needs to really look upon the thing that we're bringing in our country for the people and use. You see me, that's how we are lose so much our people on the road. Trust me upon that one there. And the next one again will come up, you know. You know, it's a different country. I warn them people them about Jamaica. Look upon Canada, yeah? Canada is warning its citizens them. Now you go to Jamaica, and if they even go there, they have to wash them head back real tight. You get to me I come from. That's how dangerous Jamaica is. You see me? So when the president come on and I want to talk about how oh, crime thing is going to be better this year, 2023, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. You feel already. You understand me I come from? You don't feel already, you know. So there's nothing else that you can do to come and show you, say, it's got different. You get to me a day, we give somebody as a chance if you do what Jamaica really want done in the country. You see what I say? But them not people are one man, even America, I tell them people them to don't go down there. So all oh, if you take up yourself and go live at Jamaica as a returning resident. Eh? How? Oh, how if you just go do that so? I know say if you go down there, you head back, depend on it's a time limit. You depend on a time limit when you go to Jamaica, you know. You understand me I say? Listen what I must say quickly. Situation. Meanwhile, the Canadian government has informed its citizens that violent crimes, including armed robbery and murder, is a problem in large cities and tourist areas, including parts of Kingston and Montego Bay, despite the presence of police to counter criminal activity. It says the availability of firearms is widespread and most violent drug and gang-related crimes, especially murder, involve firearms. Canadians are told that there is a risk of becoming the victim of crossfire in these areas. The advisory says tourists are also at risk of crimes of opportunity, especially theft and robberies. So you see where I come from though? Look how much things the people have to watch out for when they go to yard to enjoy themselves. You understand me, you're spending up all this money. It's the most expensive country we go to, you know. You get me? And you're good if you go, you, you, it's a risk to your life if you go to Jamaica right now. You get me? To the youth, them out there wicked. I mean, here they must say that this year they're going to make the most murder. And that the bad man they must send out, you know. That's what they must say, you know. They must turn up the killing spree this year, you know. And then the government has said they must turn up locking up. You understand where I come from? Something need to be done, man. You understand me? I say, something the right Jamaica come like it doom. It come like Jamaica is a place where the devil, the devil does down there dance. You understand me? The sun, the sun I get to them people down there wicked, man. You see where I come from? The state of emergency, this bloody prime minister, bro, God. You get me? Andrew Wolness. Go crazy with this bloody SOE business, yeah. Him go mad pan it. You see me, I say, scaring half people as well, you know. Him think a good he might do for the country when he might do real bad to it, you know. By putting all these seats of emergency. People now go and come there. Nobody now go and come there. You understand me? Because me personally, me would not go down and go live just like that. Me not tell a lie. Me not go down and go live. Even if you have the bars, them high like, you could have a 20-foot bar all around your house. 
outside them are come for you. By the pull up and a press button for going in your place. That's like, so the gunman them are wait. Don't think so you can do. You can grill up place and all them something. Them things they can't save your Jamaica, bless it. You understand me? No care about security you have and all them something there. That not save your Jamaica. If them money are wire, you, them wire you. And the returning residents, them, them are focused on hard. And people they go up on holiday. You get me? We work them hard, earn money. And say, no, you know what? At times when we just retire now and go back a year, go take in some sunshine, eat some good food and all them things. They're not getting a chance. They're not getting a chance for that. And I said, I say, so the government need to have a rethink and a relook for them strategies they have put out there. You get me? I know they want give people more time for guns and all them things. They're 15 to life if they get catch with a gun and them something there. You see me? But he's catching the boy them with the gun. Right now, as them here, the somebody have a gun, them supposed to just give them 15 years. If you name car up on a gun, if they, if, if they don't find it, them will lock you up. You understand me? I say, some me see it. And people might say a wickedness. But yeah, if somebody, if say John Tam, you know me, if say John Tam have a gun around there, come John Tam, a year time now, 15 years under you, and then you will not be seeing so much thing going on out there. May run them off, right? scare them. You understand me? You need to scare these people out of this gun thing. You get me? I said, people are gone missing. All the little old man have gone missing at Jamaica. I better kill, I kill them, kill him. Listen out for the shouts, you're dead, him dead somewhere. Prime Minister, John, o, you need to rethink. Come out of the place and this one here is a chance. You understand where I come from? And a job. <laughs> May I tell him when your time I come see, you know? You see me? They're not kill up town people, you know? When I realize I be a poor people, they might kill off the one either. No, no, up to them, no, no, I won't up there, do. No, no, some strong science back out, no. It look like a that go on. You see me, I say, me your savings, I say, at the Zuzu, no, I work up there. That's how the bad man, them can't pass in the great. But think about the people, them, when I have it, we spend like, you no. Know. You understand where I come from? Huh, Dr. Cookie, real chatterbox. We out there again, I do it, you know. You understand me, I say, People may not stop going to the realness. You see me a David. Me tell the real as it, as it is. Returning sitting so watching your head back. You get me? Cause them boy are out for no. Don't feel like a bed of rose. This life will laugh and smile. And why go and boss you and them something that don't take it lightly. I plan them a plan. How to get around you. You understand where I come from? So just watch how you go out there to your holiday and all them things there. Don't go out there and think of. Uh, I don't know, easy place to roll through. Them boys, they are bad man and criminal out there. You see me? So, out we out again, man. Dr. Cookie, real chatterbox. Watch out for the next one. Out. Oh, I just think he has dementia or something, uh, or Alzheimer's. Because he was always just going to the bush and coming back. I don't think of any other reason. He used to do farming in Philadelphia, Brownstone. And then he's always going to 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 look at to his cows and when he use a plant, yam and things like those. But after a time, he wasn't going that often as he used to go. The family believes he's still alive and are making this appeal. Anybody who see him, funeral home, police, anybody, vendors, you know that they're in the market are. He on the road is a real survivor. I mean, we don't live. I don't think if say him dead, because I know say him can just in the bush, make up a fire, roast yam, then we stop them. I know say he's a real survivor. So I don't think say him dead. But if funeral, funeral homes that seen anybody can just give us a call. Persons who think they can help may call the number printed on the flyer or the nearest police station. Shimela